Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel again. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Liz and I'm a part-time reseller here in Maryland. Seasoned yard sellers know that we're going to experience some unique individuals and unusual situations out there. But this past weekend, I experienced something I never have before. These sellers refused to sell me anything. Let's go check it out. Yeah, yeah, I think maybe our friend who's going to help us with money. That's very strange. Are they not selling till 8? Is that? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think I can wait here till 8. There's other yard sales, right? Yep. Yep. That is the conundrum. Um, how is the jewelry? Did you get to look? Oh, that is what they put out. That's it. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to work for me, I don't think. <laughs> that's cute. I don't even know if that's sterling. I don't think it is. Well, I don't think I can wait until... The, I got other yard shows to go to. Same here. Why would it's, you not sell? It's, it's got to be more than that. Hmm. Oh. They're not selling till eight, but you can look. That's a new approach. I think I'm out. Hi. What treasure do you have under this blue tarp? I must know. Do you have treasure under the tarp? Yeah, everybody's out early. We're all eager to spend our hard-earned cash. Yeah, I know. York sales crowd's like 6.30 normally, but we just decided we didn't care that much. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Now you're going to drive me crazy playing music. It works. <laughs> no, it won't stop. Hi. How are, you? are you bringing out jewelry? No. Ah, oh, it looked like a jewelry box. I got excited. Well, the other big yard sale in town, they're not letting anyone actually buy anything till eight, but you can look. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, I gotta just stand here? They won't let you buy? No, but the place is crawling with yard sellers. I'm like, wait, you guys are going to wait another 35 minutes to pay really? for your stuff? I was like, I'm just going to go somewhere else. That's uh, fine. <laughs> you want me to bag them up for you? Mm -hmm. okay. how, about, how about a box? The box is okay? Yep. One more thing? Yeah. And then there's a black bag. Oh, that's huge, yeah. Are you selling that? Oh yeah, is that? Uh, I could use it. Just put it on that back table. Hey, yeah. I think um, the like jewelry box. Are they selling them separate or is that part of? Yeah, the they're different. The jewelry boxes are different. Okay. Do you want a big one or a dollar? Or what the small? The small one. Yeah, just a dollar. Okay. Did they let you look at anything at that sale on Bowman? Yeah. 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 Uh, they haven't opened yet. Here's yeah, one. they wouldn't sell anything okay, until yeah. 8 o'clock, uh, but they let all the pickers in to look, first. but then they wouldn't sell them anything. Because right? <laughs> no. I got a cousin around in there, yeah. standing around there waiting for <laughs> job. That's what I'm saying. They wouldn't sell anything. Yeah, that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. I love Elephant this dress. It's such a good dress. That's one of my favorites. Yes, and it has. The, did you see? It has the yeah. strap things so it has in the pockets. Right. I love it. 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 I'm so glad you're getting it. Okay. <laughs> and I can do mine if I um, just put your rings and stuff in here. Oh great! Hang on one second. I'm just doing different math in my head. One, two. I know. <laughs> it's all new math, dude. The way they tell us in education. Hey, look, this other math. one, I think it's, it was in that. 
<laughs> yeah, so I don't know why. I think my mom thought it wasn't a single earring. Okay, and if we, do we say nine? Yes. Okay. I Do we say nine? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I have to Yes, sir. All right, there's your stain. You're welcome. Eight for 20, right? Mm-hmm. All right, thank you. Um, all the jewelry. Sure, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you for your patience. One, two, two. All right, so you got another dollar. You can, you're going to add still? No. This oh, okay. All right, so you just got one more dollar. Are the rings different prices? or? No, so everything right. is three for a dollar. Oh, so wow. you can three mix and match literally any piece of jewelry. Enjoy. Three for a dollar. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah. Things yet, right? Okay, no, not yet. So she's got the curtain rods and the jewelry. Right, right, right. There. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I'm just gonna redistribute some of these. Oh. Is this someone's back? No, this no. is all. Um, oh, they're just all trying. Okay. Yeah, no, I understand your I question. Went yeah. in his stuff. No, you're good. I, I wanted to make sure I wasn't These were all. These are all the like you know charms and pendants and things like that. And yeah. okay, so right. anyway, so we're just trying to separate. There, that's a better, Thank you. <laughs> better display there. All right. Um, so if you want, if you want to pick something else, okay. or just, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is okay. Thank you. Just yours. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here you can add it to that tray oh, okay. if you well, want. No, yeah, that sorry. way I can. Oh, I, right. couldn't, I, I couldn't shop anymore. <laughs> I need my hands. Back. I know, I know. There you go. And that way, this is that's people perfect. don't go rooting through your things. Yes, you know. after I worked so hard <laughs> on my pile. Well, you made the choices, so right. the choices are no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> So and there's a there's a fifty I know. over there a fifty there's a thirty spray a fifty lotion and a forty stick. Okay. So oh, I, I totally forgot to bring. I'm gonna shop the rest of the yard selling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go come for back it. Y'all. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you okay if I put them in a bag for you? That would be fine. Yep. If you want to add them up, that's cool. It's all crusted. All stuff I'm giving away. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, Yeah, no, I've got a whole drawer 
I'm ready to cash out. She's, oh, got a right. little, she's got a bag of jewelry for me, too. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. So this was this was a dollar. This was the cross. It just came out of the, what was it, just a dollar? It was like the dollar the book craft, bin. Yeah, the craft two. bin. So I want to say that I feel like I counted yours, and if you got, so like, you're at one, two, three. Okay, so I need to buy here, more. Eight. There's, you can get one more piece for like, so you've got one, two, three. Yeah, you've got eight pieces, so you might as well get one more thing. At and, least one and more. And you're $3, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I love it when they tell me about it. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. You need to buy more stuff. Mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. It just makes mm -hmm. sense. I'll get this one. Oh, perfect, okay. Okay, so then this is $8. Okay. The basket and everything in it. Yep, that's awesome. And what did you say? That would be? And then three, so you're at 11. Okay. How's it going? It's been a bust this morning, I'll tell you. What happened? I think I left my house too early. That's what happened. Because I came here and they were like, oh, we're not selling anything until 8. And I was here at like 7.20 and I'm like, uh, I'm not going to wait around. And then I went other places. You know, we're good. <laughs> These are kind of cute. Uh, I went over to... It was actually pretty decent. These are really cute, actually. I wonder if I could sell those in the booth. Do I want to? Maybe. Um, yeah. It's okay. Sure. Sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, good time. Any interest in this part What is it? I only sell vintage. But thank you. Right. Well, that took a lot of balance right there. I almost played my guitar last night. Almost? That's not good enough. I, oh, you got... You are not kidding. I was like, oh, I'm going to play my guitar. No, no, I didn't touch it. I don't know when I... I really need to get back into it. I'm going to lose all my... All my skills. I, I just saw you at that last yard sale. What was I doing? I don't... You were shopping hardcore. <laughs> I feel like I keep working hard and I'm not making any progress. Oh, because Maddie has a zoo in his room. 
So he's got no room for anything else. Animals. Well, he's got rid of the fish tank, but he's got oh, like real animals. Yeah. Like not stuffed animals. No. no and a, what's that bearded dragon? A bearded thing? dragon. Oh, God, that thing is disgusting. Takes up all of his room. Wow. Oh, there's something. What's in there, Jane? Oh, oh, I took it out. Oh, you took it out. Then. Yeah, no, I was just looking at the name on it. Just thought it might be easier to read on here. So, yeah, I'll come back and check it out. Okay. Uh, just kind of wait. What's we'll over, guys, here, Charlie? Like, yeah. 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 That's good. I don't know. Dogs do not like your stuff. Is that an eight? I think. But I'm not positive. Yeah. I, I find that really like script kind of thing. Yeah. I think it's yeah, me. Whatever it is, I think it's me. The lid is not attached. It needs to be soldered. Oh, oh, okay. That's why it's taped. That's why it's taped. Yeah. Well, I know how to solder. Hello. 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 Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? Are you helping? Am I what? No, I was just talking. How are you doing? Okay, I thought I might see you up here. Yeah, it's pretty. It is. It's a nice basket for food. It is. downsizer I'm gonna put stuff back <laughs> don't talk me out of buying stuff it's so fun yeah I know I don't know what we were hearing
So I wanted to share some highlights from this June uh, yard sale uh, debacle. Um, <laughs> I mentioned it at least once in the video that there's a little bit of trouble with this one yard sale, but the day turned out okay. And I wanted to share some highlights with you, some teachable moments to help you when you're out there. Um, you know, the jury is a little bit out with boho and wicker and stuff like that, but I had never seen this particular like magazine rack or maybe you could put records in it before and it was in pretty good shape. So I decided to grab it. That yard sale is very inexpensive. I want to say I paid one or two dollars for this. I'll put this on Facebook or in my booth and probably sell it for 25 or 30. You could sell it for more if you wanted to ship it. I do not want to ship that. It's pretty big. Um, I included a piece of studio pottery. Now I have not identified this artist yet, so I don't have this exact comp or value, but if you see really detailed, really beautiful studio pottery like this, and it is clearly signed, then you wanna spend the $5. I actually can't really read that, but I'm gonna figure it out. Um, a lot of the time I do sell this in my booth because it needs to be vintage for me to sell it on Etsy. Um, some people don't know that Etsy is either vintage or handmade by your company. I do not make things, so therefore uh, I can only sell vintage there. But I wanted to point out Studio Pottery. Now, I don't want you to get too excited. This one's actually a little beat up. I wanted to have these boxes here because I wanted, this is a Pandora box. I wanted to show these to you because I found out a few years ago that you can sell empty boxes, whether they're for Tiffany, Pandora, um, Rolex, for pretty good money. Now these aren't huge money makers, but a Rolex box could be $75 and up. It depends on the box, of course. You can use Google Lens to find out which one, but I think a lot of people don't know that and they see there's nothing in it and they pass it up. The other option is, let's say you find a piece of Tiffany jewelry at a sale and you buy it. Well, now you have a box, so you can ship it with the box now. So you can add value to items you already have or items you get in the future. Now, I love wooden crates. I think people do still love them. I thought this one was so beautiful. Look at these, like, these nails on the side. They're like, I don't know if they call them flat top because aren't all nails flat on the top? Help me out, people. But I love this so much. It looks like someone um, shellacked it or something like that, but it's still really, really cool. I use them to um, display items in my booth, but you certainly can sell them to people and then they can use them for home decor. I often buy these artist models. People like these for home decor, but certainly artists like them as well. They almost always go in the booth. This will probably go in the booth. Almost everything so far will go in the booth except for these boxes, which I'll save probably until I get pieces of that type of jewelry. Um, these were very inexpensive. These probably are mid-century. Now, I'm not saying these are extremely valuable pieces of art, although I could, I suppose, look up and see if there's a, I don't see a signature on them, but I think these could sell in the booth. Um, I'd probably sell them for maybe like $15 a piece. I paid $3 a piece. Um, if you s sold them online, which with this pair would be really doable because they're so small, look how small they are, um, they'd probably sell well on Etsy and you could probably charge more like 40 or, or 50 uh, shipped. So I missed out on a couple of large trolls because of that fiasco at that yard sale where I got there early and they wouldn't let me buy anything until eight and then I got there at 7.30 and everyone was shopping, but they still weren't letting, letting you pay for anything until 8. And I move very, very quickly, which is why sometimes my footage is a little bouncy, and I apologize for that. I try. Uh, but it's attached to my body, so if my body's bouncing around, then so is the footage. So I missed out on the larger trolls, which would have been a nice score. But I always buy these trolls. I don't think this is a huge moneymaker. He'll probably go in my booth for like 10 bucks. But worth mentioning to look for the trolls. 
Um, these reminded me of girly candles, G-U-R-L-E-Y, I believe. They are not made by that company according to Google Lens, but a pair of them sells pretty well on Etsy. I'll throw up the comp for you. I have not yet figured out if this is Sterling Overlay or not. Now I can see a little bit of a rainbow shine to it, which makes me think it's silver plated metal. But regardless, this little decanter, this little bottle is worth $3. Now this was a finely woven basket. You can see it has some age, as Lavender Clothesline likes to say, when you see how bright the color is on the inside and how it's not so bright on the outside, then you know you've got some age to your item. It was only a few dollars. I couldn't help myself. I don't know much about this basket. Uh, obviously, it's a lidded basket. Uh, if you know anything about it, tell me. I don't know if it's Native American. I don't know if it's a rainforest basket, if it's from Africa. I haven't figured that out yet, but it was small. It was inexpensive. It was well done, so I bought it. Something to look for. I've never seen this brass hippo box, ever. It's even hard, <clears throat> excuse me, to find with Google Lens. Hippos are in, brass is in. I feel like this is a total win. I can't wait to list him online. Some of the comps are wild. Now, I'm sure you know there's a tiki trend that's been going on for years, but what you might not realize is there have been a lot of repros. These are not repros. They say Taiwan on the bottom, okay? It also has the, the name of the company. So these are worth a pretty penny if they are not repros, and they are not, and I'll throw up the comp for a very similar pair uh, listed on Etsy. Um, I did sell a few months ago a whole set of glass um, fruit or vegetables, and I think it sold for over $100. So I decided to keep these in the haul just to let you know. Keep an eye out for them, list them as a group. You could list them individually if people really like pepper or they broke the pepper out of their set, you know. Anyway, kept them in here. Apothecary stuff, people decorate with it. People used to use china closets for china, now they put in like medical specimens and apothecary um, antiques and stuff like that. So this was only $3, the comp might surprise you, sometimes the comps are even higher. Now you know that I've gotten these, uh, I call them like a German uh, Christmas, I used to call them like a Christmas tree, but they're not, Christmas tower, I guess. Um, this is, so this says windmill carousel, here's Taiwan again. So that's a clue that it's vintage. Um, these sell really, really well. They sell, I just sell them locally. I can put it online. It has all the pieces, 75, 100, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, so snatch those up when you see them. Now this was off camera. <clears throat> I'm kind of glad it was actually, only because it was a little bit painful. So this woman wanted to sell a bunch of vintage coach purses, but she didn't act like she wanted to sell them because she kept telling me that she didn't know what price she wanted. Have you guys ever run into that at a yard sale where the buyer has something out for sale and you want to buy it, but they refuse to give you a price? Uh, she wasn't even really asking me to make an offer. It was very confusing. And she's like, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm like, who does know if you don't? Uh, but anyway, eventually she sold me, I guess I bought four of them and I think I paid I think I paid $70 for the four. I think that's well worth it when you see some of the comps. I'm just gonna stack them up to make space for other things. Um, but it was a little bit torturous. I don't think it would have been fun to watch. Uh, it probably would have made you feel a little bit stressed out and frustrated the way it made me feel. She was a lovely person, but it was just difficult to, you know, seal the deal. I really liked this bag. Um, this came from, my battery died because I had to drive a long way to this like boutique slash closeout sale. And I got there really late and my battery died as I was walking in. Um, but anyway, this is Carlos Fauci. And the comps do vary, but I thought this was a really cool leather bag, different from any other bag and not like gross reptilian, like kind of cool reptilian, almost like this folding ruching detail. I thought that was cool. So I'll show you some comps for that. I also bought um, this sweater. This is a Tundra sweater. And I think I learned about this brand, maybe from Hustle at Home Mom, but it could have been Jack Valentine. Um, and I like this sort of distressed look. This is so like 80s, 90s, that it kind of makes me cringe, which makes me know that I should buy it. So I did buy it. The comp might surprise you. Again, these are basically highlights um, and stuff that maybe you didn't get a clear look at in the video. I'm gonna put comps or I did already put comps in the video for things that are not in this haul. Um, 
Who's the picker who always gets these? Short girl picker. She picks these up all the time, so thank you to her for kind of cluing me in. Um, there were a lot of these and I got a little overwhelmed, so I just grabbed one. I know, that's really bizarre. Uh, and then this was about two weeks ago, so I don't always remember because I go to a lot of sales. Someone actually asked me in some of the footage, which may not make the final cut because it's probably not that interesting, how many times a week I shop. As many times as the world lets me. Um, if an estate sale pops up on a Monday, I'm going to go. Fruit and veggie motif. People love it. These are basically new old stock. I mean, they feel and look like new old stock. Um, I think there's a little bit of discoloration from storage, but they do not look faded to me. And they feel like, like you just brought them home from the store. So I grab these towels so that you'll be on the lookout for those things. This ended up being a fun day of sales. I had a few frustrations like we all do, but luckily I was able to make the best of it. I hope you guys get out there and make the best of your travels and the sales that present themselves to you. I hope that you get paid well for your time and I always hope that you never stop searching. I'll see you guys next time.